Welcome. We're now going to show you how I do my propellers on my whirly gigs. I only use one propeller now, uh, and after numerous bits of research and trying all different ways, I came up with this way of making my propellers. As you can see, they were just made out of wood, very, very light, so they do spin very well. Uh, and the way we do it is obviously we have to have a hub piece here, which is the crucial bit here, which is, I've got one here that I've made, which is made out of just a square piece of wood and with the, uh, the bandsaw I make it into a round block like that which is quite simple, grind it all down, sand it down so it's nice and smooth. The wood I used was a piece of old shelving, believe it or not, nice tight grain so it doesn't split. And then we have to put these slots in here, which can be complicated, but I did that on the uh, circular saw. And if you look at uh, one of my other videos, I go into great detail on how I came up with the propeller and, ha and how I made it. So you're quite welcome to look at that and you will find it very interesting. As you say, the height and the slot and everything about the propeller. So once we've got the hub, then we had to uh, make the blades. And the blades are, again, I tried numerous ways of doing it. Solid wood, plastic, perspex, loads of things. But in the end, I came up with the idea of using just ordinary thin plywood. Uh, it's marine grade, so it uh, doesn't uh, doesn't warp or do anything silly. So, so so that's good. And this was the size I finished up with. I used to do them all chamfered and different shapes and everything. But when you're doing bulk, and, and in the end I was doing bulk. I, in my heart, you know, I was doing 10, 10, 15 whirly gigs a week um, during lockdown. So. Uh, it, this was the most successful way of doing them and they just come out of a, a square piece I then used a, a former and then just saw them down on on, on the uh, on the bandsaw like that and uh, they fit in they fit in the hub when we did them we did them in sets of 10 like this as you can see uh, like that and then it was quite easy then just to saw them to saw them down into shapes. So I say, not been sanded yet or anything. Yeah. And and then they just fit in, fit in, fit in to to the hub like that. Uh, nothing, uh, nothing too complicated. Nice tight fit. Uh, and we just stick them in. And once they're stuck in with wood glue, obviously we then put a, a pin in. I use screws. Uh, pins tend to split wood, so I I, I put a pilot hole in, put a screw in. And, and just screw them down and, and, and that is that is the propeller so uh, quite easy to make uh, as I say have a look at my in-depth video on propeller making I think it lasts about 20 minutes but I do show you exactly how I did it and then you just finish up with a propeller like this uh, which which works very well thank you